If you want to be good at anything in life, and it doesn't matter what it is, then sometimes it's good to have role models. And I would say not to copy them, but to learn from them, see what they've done right and wrong, and build that into whatever area, um, chosen interest that you want to excel in. Now, in the world of trading, um, there have been many that you could possibly take as that lead. And I'm going to put to you six traders in this video who've inspired me, who I've learned from and taken tips and tricks, um, information uh, from. And I feel that you could benefit greatly if you studied these six yourselves. Hello, I'm Stephen Hode, veteran risk manager, trader, technical analyst and founder of The Stop Hunter. So let's take a look at those six. Now before we get started on the six traders, uh, just let you know in the description below I've put a load of extra content and resource around these six, whether that be books, videos, you know, lifestyle, anything I think of that you know gives you a bit more of an idea about them, their trading, their background, lifestyle all that sort of thing so you can learn from them you know build up your knowledge on them and how you can put them into your own trading world so like I say get down in the description for more info and also don't forget to put comments in as well you know put those questions in that you might want me to answer I'll try and get back to you or anything you think about those six or any other traders that I haven't put in today's video and well, you know why do you like them why do you think others should look at them? Maybe I can do a video on those as well. So anyway, let's get on with the six. So first up is billionaire hedge fund titan David Tepper. Uh, he's also the owner now of the Carolina Panthers uh, NFL team. And why do I like him so much? Well, really, it's the way he's worked his way up from the bottom to the top. He's a bit brash, a bit controversial, not you know, liked by everyone, but, you know, I like his personality, the way he's got on, but he's an extremely smart thinker, you know, a guy for thinking outside the box, finding, trading, you know, market opportunities, gaps that he has nailed, all, you know, very consistently over his career. You now, he got passed up at Goldman Sachs after he bailed them out, really, um, through some of their problems, and that's when he started Appaloosa, management and since then he's gone on from strength to strength so you know, first up david tepper you know have a look read into him it's you know he's well worth the effort now second up is richard dennis now if you've watched the film trading places with eddie murphy uh, this is where it all really comes from now richard dennis was known as the prince of the pits in the 1970s and he turned $1,600 into $350 million, which is pretty amazing. He was another Wall Street titan and in the 80s he set out the challenge of one of his partners um, that he said basically successful trading could be taught and learnt, um, which is a key um, thing that uh, you know I get asked a lot, can you learn trading or is it born, you know, are you born into it? He believed you could be taught it and he created what he called his turtles where he trained regular guys off the street to become highly successful traders. And what can you learn from him? Well, obviously you can first of all learn that you know he's you know you can learn how to trade, you know, it's not impossible. And he was very good at creating systematic trading, risk trade management systems that could be followed um, in such a way so i suppose he was an early pioneer of algorithmic you know systematic trading and he was an extremely um, smart thinker so lots to look at there and there's a lot of books um, on you know his ideas and thoughts and i really like um, the way he you know developed systematic trading and i think you can learn a lot from those processes and, you know, check the resources in the description below for more. Now, my third and one of my favourite traders is Edward Thorpe. And he's actually a mathematical genius. Um, 
he was a professor at MIT. His way of um, trading really came about from mathematical and quantitative methods, and he didn't really start in trading. Um, he's better known for um, trying to actually outsmart the casinos with gaming type theory in his book Beat the Dealer, um, card counting. He's an expert in probability and statistics and he took that into the world of trading and he created his own fund, Princeton Newport Partners. Uh, this guy's an all-round uh, genius um, and massive amounts you can learn from him. You know, how do you find the edge? Uh, smart thinking again, you know, systematic processes of you know deploying your strategy. You know, there's like I say a lot of resource and information about him out there, and again, definitely worth digging into his background, his theories, his ideas, because they can still be applied very easily today. Now, next up, and my fourth trader is Jim Simmons, another mathematical quantitative genius and he's known as one of the greatest investors on wall street ever and one of the most successful hedge fund managers ever and he's the ceo of renaissance technology one of the globe's biggest hedge funds he's a multi-billionaire many times over and he didn't start out in the world of trading in fact at one point he was a code breaker at the nca but what he did notice and that comes back to that smart thinking link was a gap in the market in trading and he brought his skills of maths and quantitative ability to you know the playing field and he could spot patterns and pattern recognition very easily he was very good at automating processes systematizing them and brilliant at data analysis and a lot of employees at renaissance technology actually come from non-financial backgrounds because they can give him an extra edge so Jim Simmons, still going strong and one of the best of all time to learn from. There's many books and resources available out there if you want to dig into him some more and they will be in the description below. Now my fifth trader is actually a dancer um, and he was a very famous dancer and he would be classed as a retail trader. He wasn't a professional trader so I'm throwing him in here because he's an example jewel of how you can succeed in the world of trading coming from a non-trading background now he stumbled into uh, the world of trading investing by mistake but he was hooked but what we can learn from him is a massive amount of um, information he was a smart thinker he was very resilient um, he had all those traits that you want to find in a winning trader. He came up with strategies, how he designed and implemented them, you know, how he analyzed results, you know, his theories. It's really, really impressive. And he turned ten thousand dollars into multi millions of dollars in the late fifties and also has um books written about him. He wrote his own books and I think his trading was so impressive I actually put um, what I think was his processes into an e-learning course and he was mostly in stocks but he can work across markets and just from the point of how he evolved in the or well, his world of trading is a you know a candle uh, for you all to follow um, and inspire you into becoming better traders and again further resource in the descriptions below now we come on to my final trader of the six and he's a legend in his own right he is jesse livermore now he's been analyzed to death by many people but i'm including him in this six for one main reason and that is psychology of trading now i've been a professional trader for 25 years working in financial markets and I can tell you mindset is hugely important to get right if you want to succeed and he and his ideas of you know the early 1900s you know 20s 
are still completely relevant today for your trading. So you can learn massive amounts from him. Now, Paul Tudor Jones, one of the uh, famous uh, multi-billionaire successful hedge fund managers and traders, gives all his uh, interns and staff his book to read, you know, Reminiscences of a Stock Operator, because what you can learn from him then is still completely relevant to your trading today. You know, psychology, smart thinking, resilience to getting knocks. You know, he made billions, lost billions. At one point was one of the richest men in the world. You know, he used technical analysis, he worked out human emotions, you know, how to trade around them. Um, I say, if you want to study one man, then Jesse Livermore is a great place to start. So there you go, six great traders that I'm hoping can inspire you in the world of trading and you could use as role models and you can take whatever parts you want from them. Some deal well with the psychological aspect of trading, some with strategy design, you know, all sorts of different aspects those six cover and they, like I say, can seriously help you uh, develop as traders. So I hope you've enjoyed today's video. If you have, please give us the thumbs up. Don't forget to hit the subscribe and the bell buttons to receive further notification of content I am going to produce. So all that's left for me to say is thanks for watching, good luck with the trading, and I'll see you in the next video.